Hey everybody, this is Gunhead70, and this is just kind of an update video to let people know that I'm I'm still here, and as you can see, I'm still building. I just haven't really finished anything uh, to put it up, as you know, uh, finished as in you know, painted, decaled, and top coated, that kind of a deal. But I have been building. Um, I've been uh, buying quite a few kits from the age line as you can see um, not interested in the anime but the mobile suits do interest me so I've been picking up a few of those and just trying them out um, some other mobile suits over here that I've had for quite some time but never uh, uh, quite finished them you know a lot of them needs like I said before they need decals and whatnot so you know life gets in the way I was working on my motorcycle, working on my cars, you know, doing all kinds of stuff and just had time to just, you know, build a, build a model kit but not actually paint it and decal it. So, uh, as you can see, uh, I've got the Gaffron back there, Genoase, uh, custom Genoase. Uh, just picked this one up today. This is the Fargia? Fargia. Um, I actually like this one. I actually like the female mobile suits. I think they're kind of neat. Um, so that's what uh, spurred me to pick that one up. Um, then way back there, it's the uh, Jet Jesta. Um, this one here is a custom that I've been working on. Um, haven't quite, uh, as you can see, haven't quite finished him because it's all multiple colors. Um, He's got that, uh, uh, oh man, I can't, uh, Leonard's frame something, what is it? Arms Astray, his custom or something like that. It's got that helmet on it. Um, the Gadessa uh, chest and torso. Uh, and, torso. Uh, and then I customized it by putting the side skirts on the back. Uh, GNX R. Uh, upper shoulders, uh, the beginning Gundam's legs and arms, and then there's, you know, just a little few custom touches on there, like uh, minus molds for the joints and stuff like that. Uh, it's probably not going to be something I'm building to be referenced as a Gundam in any Gundam line, because uh, it kind of looks more like a guy in, a, in an armored suit, so... Uh, not quite sure where I'm going with that, but it, that's it's that's why it's not done because I just keep thinking of some and I add it. So um, then we've got the I can't remember which Gundam she is. Wow, just had a brain fart. Um, Nobel. Uh, Nobel Gundam in Berserker mode. I couldn't find the original one. This is this is the one where it's the purple and pink one. I kind of wanted the other version for the hair, so I'll have to order one of those online because um, local hobby shops down here don't don't seem to have them in stock anymore. Uh, Gundam Age Spalo, uh, actually a pretty decent kit. I kind of like it. Um, not too crazy about the whoops would be helpful if I was focused on them. Um, not too crazy about the upper shoulders, but other than that, it's a pretty solid kit. I actually like the way that he looks and probably can't see much because the lighting sucks in here. But uh, then I've had these SDs for quite a while. Uh, Exeer Repair 2, Double uh, O, uh, neither of them are painted. I just kind of slapped them together because I was thinking of some things to do with them, but never got around to it. Um, uh, if you've gone to my channel, you know that I've got a video up of uh, the, 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 the Sinanju. And when I did Sinanju, <clears throat> I bought him and started building him up, Unicorn. And at the same time, bought the other Unicorn, who's hiding back there. And then of course because I had the SD version of the Unicorn, I had to have the SD version of the Sinanju. So when I finish all four of those, all four of those guys will be up on my shelf uh, kind of fighting each other. Um, 
This one back here was also another recent purchase that I that I picked up a couple weeks ago and just put together a few days ago. Uh, it's Kota Bikia kit, frame arms. Uh, it's the SA7, SA-17S uh, Rapier Zephyr. Um, jury is still out on this kit because a lot of the pieces... I, I did do a review on this kit. I just have not posted it because it was really just a horrible review as in I just blasted it and I, I'm just not going to do it. I've decided I'm not going to post the review. Um, I'll just let you know this particular frame arms kit a lot of these pieces pop off and you just can't keep them on. Um, all of the moving pieces that are on the are, that are on the exterior armor do not have poly caps, so it's just plastic on plastic, and it's not a good fit. They just they pop right off. So um, this one's probably going to be a custom of some kind. I'll probably take a lot of that armor off and customize it, and do some other stuff. So. That's it. That's uh, I mean, I've been building, but I haven't finished anything. Um, Unicorn back there is probably going to be the first one that gets done. He just needs um, a few more decals. God, I'm no good at holding a camera. Um, as you can see, I've got him decaled up. Um, he just needs a few more. Need to put some on. Whoops. Need to put some on his head, and then his lower legs seem to need. A few more decals. I can't find any decent pictures of where the decals go. Um, so I'm really just guessing as to where those decals go. But uh, we. But hopefully I'll have them done pretty soon, and and I'll just do a quick review of them. Um, not something in depth. He's been out for a long time, so there's tons of videos up. Um, like I said before, you know, um, in one of my other videos, I don't, it's not necessary to keep putting up videos of models that, you know, have already been reviewed. So, you might see a review of the Fargia, because it's a recent kit. Um, and I might do a review of that one. But other than that, well, maybe the Jesta, I haven't seen too many reviews of the Jesta, but... I'll have to go back and look. Um, but there's really no point. I mean, you just look it up and there's tons of tons of really good reviews on them. Um, you know, in fact, Robert 180, ooh, 184. Uh, I might be wrong on that one. Um, he just did a review of the Farja. And, uh, or I think he's in the middle of doing that review. Um, and it's a pretty good review. So, um, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll have something finished here within the next uh, week or so that I can get a, a decent video up. And uh, with that, I will talk to you later. Bye.